Sorry. Hold on. No, my finger's already raised. I can't do that. All right. Are we live? We are live. We are six seconds in to live. All right. I'm going to just try to get some outlines here because I have... This was a really tough one because the pencil just would not go on the... Record. Record. Oops. I forgot to hit record. Oh, wow. Um, hi. H hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> hello. Whoa. We went from like zero to like everybody here and in like 412 people. <laughs> like a minute. Let's hello, go. everybody. Good Sorry. Morning, I'm just friends. setting this up to record. Wow. Everybody's here. Hi. All right. How is everybody? Wowzers. We are doing another 45 this morning. We're going to call this Music Monday if we keep enjoying it. We are. We're going to call this Music Monday. We have a hello from Greece and a hello from Florida and a hello from Louisiana. We need to go a little higher. Um, you are who I want to be in the future. Oh, Cheers thank you. Cheers from Uruguay. Hi from Nepal. Hello. Hey, Jamie Brown's here. She says, good morning, Prince. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Lily Check says, morning, Scott and Donna. Music Monday sounds great. Doesn't it? it e Pro, hello from fun. a 13 year old from India. Love your bids. Oh, thank you. Good morning from California. Can you guys see this okay? Oh, we can see it just fine. Okay. Um, the top, very top of it is a little blown out because of the light. There you go. Now I can see the whole thing. Hello from Arizona. Hello from England. Hello. hello. From Africa. Um, starting a beautiful morning with the voice of a beautiful. Oh, you're sweet. Thank <laughs> you. Hello from India. Hi from Kurdistan. Wow. Hello. That's, that's a lot of heart emojis from Kurdistan. I'm feeling the love today. Aisha's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. As soon as I saw the message, Scott is live, I instantly clicked on it. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> Trust Brady with all these years. Hi from Italy. Luca. Hello. Hi. How is Hi. everybody today? Yeah, how are you guys doing? I've watched all your videos. I need more since Ellie. <laughs> Thanks. Good morning, that mustard hurts. Oh, we have a Bethany. Hello, Bethany. Do you sand the record a bit before drawing on it? No, I don't. I don't. But I also want you guys to see that this one was kind of scratched up pretty bad. I tried playing it, and it just didn't uh, play very well. So, um, um, there is that. sound. Well, I guess you can't hear me because anyway. Um, Today is my brother's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have you sketched an outline to go by already or just freehanding? No, there's a little bit of an outline. It's just that the pencil wasn't picking up on the uh, thing very well. So I'm really going to have to do a lot of. Um... What record are you painting on? It is Bad Eye Bill by Dr. Hook. <laughs> and this blue is just not. Boogeyman says, good day from Halloween Town. Good day. Oh, Pattis Chan says, hello from Sri Lanka. Hello. Growing. You're in the tea growing country. Yeah, I cannot get, I don't know what it is about these. They feel like they get, they're getting um, uh, thinner and thinner. What? The, the pens. Like that green came out okay. Yeah. But I feel like uh, maybe I should put them downside oh maybe you're you're losing ink i don't know let's try uh i'm gonna try get some skin Ryan tones says, in hello from the west coast of canada hello God, the czech republic and the philippines and canada and you guys are england indonesia oh bethany's here Hey, Bethany. Didn't we already say hi to Bethany? No, no. Somebody asked where Bethany was. Oh. Bethany's here. Um, Scott, you literally inspired me to start painting, and it is so good. If oh. Says, it will make my day. Thank you. Um, Scott says, I love the music Monday. Thank you. Good morning, Scott. Good morning. 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 Good
They all look like they're doing good today. Good. Thank you for giving me motivation to draw a vibrant duck yesterday. Oh, that's that great. Uh, let's see. Wow, you guys are just pretty good. People finished watching This Is Us or Last of Us. I didn't even watch that at all. You wouldn't. Um, oh, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Hi from Indonesia, hi from Vietnam, big fan from India. Hello. Pakistan, Oklahoma. Pool of a chinchilla says, hello, Scott. In my <laughs> art class, I had to emulate an artist's style, and I chose you. I hope you have a great day. Oh, fantastic. I am honored. I hope it went well. Yeah, it was good. I am doing fine today. I have my tea selections all over the map today. So I started out with this... Um, Tuck box tea, which was a very mellow tea. And now I have the Scottish breakfast tea and my to-go mug with the lid on it for later is the Pittsburgh breakfast tea. So I'm all over the map today. Um, all right. I'm just basically at this point, because as always, this could be a complete disaster. So at this point, I am just going to try to just get some shapes. So this is her hair. Uh, I am still using the um, Artex acrylic markers. Gotcha. Um, he is drawing Janet Jackson on a 45. Miss so Jackson, if you're nasty. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so you'll at some point need to show the photo reference. Hi, Scott from Buffalo, New York. Hello. You guys dug out of all your snow yet? Just down the deviant art slowly to look at your stuff. Had no clue you made Jacks from Sons of Anarchy. Oh, yeah. Um, Artsy Batford says, good morning. Thank you for the routine on a day that will be chaotic. Oh, I hope your day is not so chaotic. Yeah, Mondays should not be chaotic. We should really be able to ease into the week, but as we all know, Mondays are more like, oh my God, it's Monday. Um, I just saw MJ the musical in New York and my grandma was talking about her. Oh, really? Her, yeah. <laughs> good morning. How are you guys this morning? Oh, We're doing good. good. Thank you. What was your longest duration on working on a single piece of art? It was uh, like 13, 14 weeks of working on the Animal Crackers movie poster. Zip sound feels wrong, even if it's a scratch record. Yeah. Uh, hello, Scott. When I'm always down, I got your channel, and I always get inspired to paint more and more. Oh, thank you. Um, we are good. Your vids are motivation and very entertaining. Thank you. That's good to hear. Snow melted a few weeks ago. Got it. Good. Have you made a rough draft? He's just going for it on the record. Guys. I'm just going for He's it. Just going for it today. Scott chose chaos today. Um, I'm going to read this one out loud. Scott, you're so lucky to have such a beautiful and cute wife. <laughs> just saying, I didn't write it. It's right. Bethany. Here. It's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. You two are in cahoots. Oh, God. Actually, it wasn't. Bethany. Um, um, I love you. You are one of the only people that inspires me to draw more. Oh, thank you. Oh, Tracy Kid says, Scott, I took your advice to draw everything every day and I've really seen my art improve. Thank you so much. Oh, that's wonderful. What would be your go-to medium if watercolor wasn't either an option or available? Uh, it would be gouache. Watched Animal Crackers with my daughter yesterday. It is now her new favorite movie. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What's wrong with the quality? The quality of the video, the quality of the record, the quality of the what? What are you talking about? The art? About? <laughs> yeah. Princess Jester, what, what's going on? Is it the stream? What's going on? Um, if you had to choose smarts or arts, which would it be? Smarts or arts? Ooh. Um... I mean, being smart can help a lot of people. So, you know, that's a, that's a tough one. Good afternoon from London. Um, these are the Artex markers. 
Um, they are acrylic markers. Um, Pan, I've sent you a tip. Oh, thank you. Um, you're so sweet. Tom is tired of telling me, oh, you're so funny. It's like white noise by now. That, that is very true. Um, you, it's a lot of people, you've inspired a lot of people, a lot of people have been drawing. Which that means really a lot nice. to me, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, you guys. I'm just happy you guys are drawing and enjoying your, I hope when you are drawing, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're having a good time. I hope it's making you happy. Um, oh, on Bethany's note. Okay. The Be Creative Sketchbooks. I called the Be Creative Company. There are several sizes of their sketchbooks that are being discontinued. The one Scott likes, the eight and a half by five and a half, is not being discontinued. However, it is not available right now because they are still waiting for it. It is on a boat somewhere or in a container somewhere or whatever. They're waiting for it. So, be creative is not just and i got this straight from the company they are not discontinuing the eight and a half by five and a half but we don't know when they're going to be around so there you go um i should be getting ready for school um would you consider drawing a character from apex legends blood your work by the way that's casey i would always consider drawing characters from other from, from video games and, and whatnot i just uh just depends on whether the mood hits or whatever. Okay, so do you have a favorite piece of art you made or does it change with time? It, it kind of changes with time. Currently it's the Animal Crackers movie poster. Do you use Hibi gouache? Um, I did try it once and, uh, and it was okay. Not your favorite. Not my least favorite, not my most favorite. At least you didn't throw that one on the floor like you did the oil pastels. I remember that video. You threw those across the room. What's your favorite sketchbook? We just said it is the Be Creative 100% cotton, 300 GSM paper. That's the one Scott uses for his travel journal. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find. Best watercolor for a beginner. Um. I mean, you could try the Crayola watercolor. It depends on how, how beginner you want to be. There's the grabby one. There's the, there's a few different ones. It's just, depends on how, how you want to do it. Yeah, and how beginner are you? Hello, fine art classroom back in session projects due Friday. We're all going to cry. Oh no. How can I show you my work? Um, you can show us your work on the Discord, although Scott is not. Um, He's not going to like tear it apart and do a big critique. He's just not. That is not what he does. Wow, that is. I'm getting the black off of it, otherwise, it's yeah. useless. And this is why we can't have posters in the house. Hmm. This made you my day. Thank you so much for reading it. That's what I'm here for. Silly. Um, you are really inspiring a lot of people to draw more, which is fantastic. Oh, thank you. You must be really good at trusting the process. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I, I will say this. I am really good at letting a piece go. So if something just isn't going to work, it's not going to work, and I can walk away from it. I'm never happy about it, but um, the other thing is also I've got – this is only my third time doing this. So I've got no expectations of being good at it. Um, this is the third time I've painting on a record. Yeah. Let's be clear. And and only you know like I've only used these art these uh, you know um, these markers a handful of times too. So again, I don't have um, high, expectations. high expectations. I don't put that kind of pressure on myself. He really doesn't. And nine times out of ten, when he starts off something in the morning, and he's it, it's one of those mornings where it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll try this. He goes, I guess we're gonna see what happens. Yeah. And my always follow up comment is, well, they love it when you fail, so yeah, you either way, babe. <laughs> the videos where I fail are always do the best, you know. Yeah, it's funny. Those are the ones that have like two million views. Fifteen like, million views. I, I failed spectacularly. Look at me. And yeah. He's like, Good for you. Look, you suck too. Great. 
jeez. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. You guys are just funny. Um, my phone's gonna die soon. Well, you better plug that in. Um, are you a fan of Studio Ghibli? No. If you could be an animal, what would you be? Um, I don't know, cheetah? See, now mine is different. If I could be an animal, I would want to be an eagle or a hawk or an owl. I want to be something that has these really big talons and I want to fly really, really high up into the sky. I think that would be really cool. If you ask which animal I love, I think everyone knows it's a red panda still. Hey, we have a Steph nerd. Good morning. Hey, Steph nerd. Do you prefer gouache or watercolor? Uh, watercolor. Jamie says, it's not about your failure, Scott, but showing you are human like the rest of us. No. I'm a little too human some days. He is indeed. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? When you read my comment, I went to my cousin very excited. Thank you so much. By the way, I wrote hello, Scott, when I'm always down. Oh, I, I got you. Um, oh, Lydia Luke says, good morning. It's been a while. How's it going? Hello. How are you? We're good this morning. If the hair is straight, how do you draw it? Um, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I usually just look at the photo reference and work from that. But uh, you, you're always looking for the highlights. That's the thing. You're always looking for the highlights. And for me, I will always try to add a little more to it, a little bit of Art Nouveau curls and stuff. Mixed media paper, good quality for my medium. My favorite is graphite. It should be okay. My mixed media is really made for more of wet mediums. So um, it might be a little overkill. If it's just going to use graphite, you just there's really good graphite paper that you could use. Now that I joined this lab, I feel obliged to make art too. You're so funny. Um, Seeing your stream just now actually just inspired me to pick up a pencil. Let's cast. Aww. Aww. You have a great week too. Uh, let's see. Thank you for inspiring so many people. When I found your channel, my art improved so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Cinnamon bun. What is your least favorite art material? Um, so far it is oil pastels. I'm having a really hard time with them and I've tried a couple times to make them work. Um, but never say never. Maybe I'll figure them out at some point. Okay, so now we've kind of got at least the shapes. That's what I was looking for is just kind of get the shapes in there. The mouth is a little wonky. I'm still looking at the photo reference. Um, for those of you guys who want to see the photo reference, oh, you know what? I have it on my phone. It's easier do that um scott's favorite book is the hobbit and the markers he's using are the artex a-r-t-x-x -X, artex acrylic markers so there's the photo reference she's got great hair yeah yes Steph nerd, you can get your sketchbooks at some point i don't know when they're going to be available they couldn't give me a time frame on when they'd be in but yeah they're not going away at least the eight and a half um, by five and a half are not going away. Uh, do you speak any other languages? Mm -mm. I I um, I'm half Assyrian and half Sicilian, and I wish I would have learned those languages. But both, funny? yeah, both my parents. My mom spoke Assyrian, but she just didn't speak it in the house, and um, I would hear it a lot when we would be with my grandparents, but um, we just didn't pick up on it. I really think you need to learn those things at a young age. Oh, Ellen's here. Hi, Ellen. And hey, Ellen. And here too. And um, Ellen says, yes, I was working on some oils this weekend and noticed my confidence with new things is much improved since watching your videos this last year. Oh. Still scary, but I didn't hate it. Thank you, Ellen. And if you guys are not following Fiber and Brimstone, I really need you to go and give Ellen a follow. She is doing some amazing 
amazing watercolors and inks. And she's got beautiful prints that she makes. I personally have one of her um, bandanas that she did because it's a little coffee or teacup. It's really cute. But anyway, um, so go check her out and give her a follow. You should do Clint Eastwood for the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> I don't think this is healthy, but I've been staying up past midnight drawing. Well, no. I'm not one to say anything because I stay up past midnight reading. So there you go. Um, favorite song? Uh, Future Love Paradise by Seal. I uh, Bethany had that spot on. <laughs> How long have you wanted to do art as a career? How long have you known you wanted to do art as a career? Sorry. I think I picked up on that in high school. Like when we had to decide what we're going to do. What is a good beginner gouache? I don't know. I, the Hemi gouache is not a bad beginner gouache, honestly. Oh, Chrissy Doodle says, I went to an Alphonse Mucha art exhibit and I couldn't help but be reminded of your work. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Right oh, Nervix here. Hello from the land of red pandas and good morning. Hello. How are you doing? How is Nepal on this lovely morning? It is foggy and drizzly, and we are supposed to have rain today. So our dog Arwen is very unhappy because she'll walk in the snow. She'll walk in a lot of things, but she will not walk in the rain. It makes her miserable. It's kind of funny. Um, and yes, her name is Arwen because... Uh, she was named after the uh, elf princess from Lord of the Rings. That is very true. She was either going to be Arwen or Ahsoka. And you can tell which our boys were very into Star Wars, the Clone Wars, and Lord of the Rings when we got her. So I said, you can name her French Toast for all I care, but we were getting a girl dog. So there was a little too much testosterone in my house. Um, my eight-year-old daughter loves you and your work so much. You inspire her every day. She even asks us to buy her the markers you use, and she's growing her collection. Thank you for inspiring Oh, that's her. wonderful. Please oh. say hi for, for us. Okay. Can we just also thank you for being a wonderful parent? Yeah. And for inspiring her to do art and, and supporting her to do art. That is a wonderful thing. Yeah, it really is. So wonderful. Please tell me these 45s are unplayable because it would hurt me if you're painting perfectly <laughs> good records. Um, no, they've all been playable. They just were records that the first one was was an old White Snake uh, album, and it was I've had it since you know Here I Go Again came out back in the '80s. Uh, it it was unplayable at that point. It had so many scratches and whatnot. But um, this one is this one had a big scratch over here, and it was again just a band that I had not heard of. So my ignorance be you know makes it art. My ignorance Sorry, I don't know this song. <laughs> You're now art. Oh, good grief. You're funny. Um, I tried to do warm colors like you when making portraits of people, but I decided I should start more with basic skin tone colors. Did you start with basic skin tones before you started with warm and warm colors? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, all of my uh, older stuff is more photorealistic, you know, more natural, more normal stuff. It is just now that I'm getting older, I'm trying to push my stuff to be a little bit more impressionistic, a little bit more artsy. So it is totally normal to start off with, you know, things that feel more natural. Totally normal. Okay. So I love this comment. And this is like my comment of the day. You guys always know I like to pick a comment. This is my comment of the day. This is Trust Braided Army. And I love this because it's so encouraging and inspiring. To Scott, Donna, and the whole fandom, you're amazing. Every single one of you. I know you've gone through a lot, but you let you kept going. You're not going to let the world break you, okay? I know you can handle it. I love that. Oh, thank you. Everybody, the, there, from, from Trust Braided, there is your inspiration for the day. I love that. And you are wonderful. And thank you for posting that. That's wonderful. I love that. Um, screaming or making shorts of your work? What do you prefer? Oh, uh, making shorts. I mean, um, doing these lives is fun, but uh, I, I, 
there's there's something about telling a story that I like. And so for me, the shorts are storytelling. Scott, I love your art. You're really inspiring as an artist. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you so much for inspiring me. I'm trying to draw realistic stuff, but I'm more of a cartoon artist myself. So thank you so much for helping me with just art tips. I love watching all your videos. Oh, thank you. And Kate one says, we love you. We love you. <laughs> what record is that? And then Bethany follows up with a random one that was in the basement. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> That's true. If you could tell your younger self to learn a skill or other art, what would it be? I'm coming on with It would be from, from the video from yesterday, um, which is to draw everything every day. I wish I would have done that earlier. I just spent so much time drawing my original character and... Um, Everything would have been so much easier had I just drawn the world around me. Okay. Thanks for making the videos. They have been inspiring me to start arts. Oh, that's great. They bought the Animal Crafters movie poster yesterday. Well, there you go. Oh. That's my favorite movie. That's so sweet. Thank you. Did you just read mine? Yes, I did. Kate Lynn, that one did it good. I love your art. My 15 year old girl loves to do art too. She loves to watch your videos. Oh, oh, thank you. What's your favorite tip for watercolor for beginners? Go from lights to darks. I'm going to try some Poscas here. First, I'm going to dry this. Oh, blow dryer. Mods are on it today. We got a couple of very caffeinated mods in here today. <laughs> <laughs> they are on it. Um, you're my favorite artist, and I always put on a video to help inspire me. That's fantastic. Oh, thank you. What other hobbies do you have? What other hobbies do I have? Um, I like to play games. Uh, and well, we're currently playing Overwatch 2 with my son. We play some World of Warcraft. Yeah. And then, yes. Okay. So there, there's definitely a gap. There's no deep reds. There, oh, no, this is way too light. Yeah. Um, there's no deep reds and there's no browns. So um, I'm trying to use some Poscos, but I don't think, I thought there was a darker brown. Um, Davis asked, from the moment I watched your painting on a record, I wanted to paint on everything, but I didn't know what to paint on. Do you have any tips? What to paint on? Mm -hmm. um, People paint on rocks. They paint on Yeah. Wood. You paint on walls. I mean, you know, whatever you're allowed to paint on, of course. Yes. Um, if you could tell yourself to learn a skill. Oh, glass. People paint on glass, too. Yeah. Glass jars, you know, fun things like that. Um, if you can tell your younger self to learn a skill other than art, what would it be? Uh, music. What I think I, music is magic. What got you interested to do art? Um, my mom was an artist. My uncle was an artist. And so I think it was just something I was always around. Does the Ohuhu marker paper also work good with colored pencil? I haven't tried it. Good question. We have not tried that. You should try that. See what else the open paper would be good with. Yeah. You know? Maybe if they go and they make those changes that we asked, I might consider it. Um, okay, let's see. What got you interested to do art? I think I just answered that, right? Oh, you did. Okay. Um... Amber has an interesting question. Can I ask, how do you restart your creativity after the afterburn of drawing? Because sometimes I stop for three months at a time. Any tips? Um, I, some, sometimes I, I will take breaks. Uh, I mean, I took a 10-year break. Um, 
And the way that I did it was I, the way that I got back into it was by um, changing mediums. I just decided I'm going to learn watercolors. Oh, thank what you. are your favorite old comics? Mine are Bone and Calvin and Hobbes. Wildly different, <laughs> but I adore the art and story in Bone. Bone was a good story. Bone's a good story. We 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 work with Jeff Smith. He's great. Um, Calvin and Hobbes is a masterpiece, um, but those aren't old to us. <laughs> those are like, you know, um, Beetle Bailey. That's old. Yeah, you know, that's that's old. You know, yeah, those aren't really old to us. What were those ones I used to really like to read? It was the um, the Adventures of Batman and Robin, right? No, it wasn't the something. Batman the Animated. Batman mm -hmm. the Animated Series. I used to love those comics. How's that? We'll just throw that out there. Um, keep guessing. Um, would you make long form content for art tutorials? I don't think so. I really don't. I'm not a teacher, and um, I really don't have that much to say. Apparently, I really can't draw Janet Jackson's lips. Evidently not. You're having a rough go. Yeah, this is really. Your eyes look good. You are the reason why I picked art class without a doubt. Oh, art uh, class without a doubt. What's your favorite tip for watercolor for beginners? Uh. Go lights to dark. Okay, now we're going to start doing some little artsy stuff to try to blend all of these colors together. So I'm going to just take random colors and do like little dots and stuff. Okay, so the mysterious lady voice that you think I would be Scott's, <coughs> I would be Scott's wife. My name is Donna. Not so mysterious, but thank you for putting making me mysterious this morning. Appreciate that. What's your favorite old movie? Favorite old movie? Um, gosh, I never really got into old movies, did I? My favorite old movie is It's a Wonderful Life. And the only reason I think it, that it's that old is because it's a black and white. Yeah. I just like Miracle I guess The Wizard of Oz. <gasps> the Wizard of Oz is great. Yeah. Um, can you do Phineas and Ferb characters? Um, I can. I can. Um, do you really want to, though? I mean, could you do them as well as they are? I don't know. As well as a stand does them? I, I don't know. Um, let's see. What's your favorite thing about streaming? About streaming? Like going live? Mm -hmm. Um, I think getting to meet everybody is really fun. I like being here with everybody in the morning. It feels like it's our place. Oddly enough, I've had zero caffeine. Wow. Okay, well, you're still on it. I don't know how you're on it, but you, wow. Um, do either of you have tattoos? No. I have a lot of uh, ear piercings, but I do not have tattoos. I could not commit to a, a piece of art. Oh my God, you, uh, you know, like if you were to say this one piece of art is going to be on you for the rest of your life, I, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I changed, I changed my changed tastes your, yeah, so much. Yeah. Yeah, like like, I'd be it would be Spider Man if it you know if I got a tattoo in my twenties you know it would be, gosh I don't even know what it'd be if I got it in my thirties. Would be my face. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love to paint and I'm a subscriber. Can you tell us where you get all of your favorite art supplies? I'm not very good, but I'm practicing. You're the best artist ever. Oh, thanks. We get them from Blick. Blick dot com. Yep. And you can see in the resources page on the website, there's a list of everything that Scott has on there. And we don't get a kickback for a lot of those. What we get is a discount for you guys. So a lot of them are listed on there and they'll have a discount next to it. So um, yeah. check if you do want to buy something, use the discount code. 
because um, that'll help defray the cost of some of the supplies. My daughter got inspired to do art because of you. She drew one of the characters in Animal Crackers. Oh. What did she draw? Jerry, tell us who she drew. Want to know, want to know, want to know. Extra large bug today. It's cold. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, will you or have you ever drawn the singer Meatloaf? I have never drawn Meatloaf. I never really got into him. I was just having a conversation with my cousin who's like, Bat Out of Hell is like one of the greatest albums ever. And um, But... Um, no, I've never drawn them. Not even from Fight Club. Oh, Liza says, happy anniversary. Sorry, I'm a little late, but you two deserve the world. You're oh, so thank, thank you. you. Um, have you ever had fan interactions? And if so, which is your favorite? In like person? Us being fans of somebody else? Or people saying hi to us? What is your favorite book? Uh, the Hobbit. You are really chill. Thank you. Um, PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox, or PC? Well, I I have most of those um, for work, but I I think my favorite is the the Switch. I always like Nintendo, and I my favorite game is Legend of Zelda. Donna, how has Scott's art changed from your view over the years, and what is your honest opinion on it? Wow. Okay. Let's unpack that one. Um, his art has gotten so much more complex over the years, and I have loved watching him take different pieces of things and incorporate that into his art. And I've enjoyed watching him try new mediums and try new things. And I've been, I really enjoy watching him inspire people to try new things. But I think my favorite is his travel journal. And I love how he likes to capture all the little things in life. And it's funny to me, like, when we were in Venice, he drew a picture of the broken glasses. I would never have drawn a picture of the broken glasses. I wrote about the broken glasses. But there they were. There was a pair of broken glasses and thing. And I just thought it's funny because it was a funny part of it, and you look at it and you laugh about it. Um, it well, I think I that that's the other thing is, and, and I'm trying to get Donna to learn to laugh about these things. You know, I do, get fr I do get frustrated. Donna, Donna's like, "Oh my God, your glasses broke!" You know, what are we gonna do? How are you gonna see? No, that one was different because you had. That very nice friend. Yeah. To walk you through, I wasn't worried that day. I was like, "Oh, he'll be fine. He's got he's got backup. He's got backup that speaks Italian. He's fine." So I didn't worry about it, you know. But it's there's just sometimes when it's a little more difficult. Anyway, <laughs> I'm also very biased, and I love his art, and I love um, I would say probably ninety percent of the things that he does. There are some pieces that I'm like, "Huh, okay." If it makes you happy, knock yourself out. <laughs> because there's just some pieces I don't like. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of pieces I don't like. And has any part of your life changed since you were an artist? Every aspect of her life has changed. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the same person I was when I was 23. So. It's not easy being married to an artist. Yeah, but... We talk about that a lot, but I think what we don't talk about is I think I come from a family that's very practical and pragmatic. So art was never on the spectrum at all in my family. The single best thing that I've gotten from being married to an artist is my appreciation for art and architecture and seeing things from that beauty standpoint and it's really something to look at a piece of art and be able to appreciate the brush strokes and the time that went into it and finding an art style that you that you like um finding things that that you never knew you liked about art that's one of my single favorite things about being married to an artist is i have that appreciation for art now and it expands my life in so many ways. And it makes me happy. 
I love going to museums with him. I don't paint them, but I like to write about what it makes me feel. I wrote a lot in, when we were in Venice about how I felt being there and what the how amazed I was at the the age of the things and the paintings and just a whole bunch of stuff. So, anyway. do you draw with charcoal sometimes? I tried it the other day. Drawing with charcoal is fun. I have not done it in quite a while. Um, you um, do a series about drawing with the art supplies you rarely draw with. <laughs> it could be fun. Oh, Jamie's, Jamie wants chaos. Now I want to know what art you didn't like, Donna. I'll be really honest with you. His red noses are not my favorite. Not my favorite. Can you guys play any instruments? No. Do you think you could do a video on landscapes and scenery? That's something I'm really struggling to do in my art, and it would be really helpful. Um, I could try. Have you read the Chronicles of Amber? I have not. Never heard of them. Heard of that, yeah. Um, could you draw the Mona Lisa in your art style, please? Yeah, I could. It's a, it's a pretty boring piece of art, honestly. Um, not oh. not really my favorite. Caitlin wants you to draw Hello Kitty characters. I second that. I want you to draw Hello Kitty. I need to draw Hello Kitty. Do you have any advice for drawing for reference? I usually draw from imagination, and reference feels difficult. Um... I don't know if I have advice. Um, I, I know I have a video where I talk about drawing from a photograph. Uh, it, it has Santa in it, I think. Um, let's see, you give up Dan Pottenmeyer vibes. You guys are so awesome. Oh, thank That's you. High That's high praise. You should try Procreate for Digital Art. It's a really beginner-friendly program. Also, I, I wanted to, but um, my my iPad oh, yeah. didn't work with it. Oh, it's a little old. iPad. Um, my favorite color is cobalt blue. Do you think it's possible to learn perspective from simply drawing things we see around us? I like this method, but I'm still struggling with perspective. Absolutely. I don't know if you saw the video from yesterday where, you know, I was drawing a um, bottle of uh, cinnamon and you can learn perspective from that. Jared's daughter drew Chesterfield using the wash. Oh, that's great. I would love to see that. Oh, Kaz says, to me, your art isn't just good, it's touching, it tells stories, it shows a part of your life. Oh, thank you. That is probably one of the best compliments you could give him. Um, 707, there was a video on the channel about buying a drawing tablet a while ago. I had wanted to know if your feelings on digital art shifted a little since then. Um, no, I just haven't had a chance to really get into it. Trying to soften this line here, but I can't find the right color to do it. Ah, uh, those pesky cap colors. No, no, it's just there's a limited palette with these. Which do you prefer, Artex acrylic markers or Artex alcohol markers? I have not tried Artex alcohol markers, have I? Um, they didn't send us alcohol markers. Yeah, they did. No, oh, that was our geek. Um, Gidwin sent you a tip and says, looks great so far. Oh, thank you. Um, you should go to schools to show kids your art and how to draw. I'm sure it would inspire some kids. Oh, thanks. Um, have you watched any good movies recently? Um, we saw Bullet Train. Yeah, that was a little bloody, but it was good. Uh, that was kind of fun. I've been, I tried to watch Pinocchio, couldn't get through it. I tried to watch Slumberland, couldn't get through it. Um, there's a link to the Artex markers in the products we've reviewed and there, it's not, um, it's not an affiliate link for those, no, but they are very reasonably priced. 
What kind of alcohol markers were your favorite to use? Um, the Ahuhus are really fun, but uh, I, I still just like the Art Beak ones. Thanks for the heart this morning. Oh, sure. Um, let's see. All right, let's have some fun with the hair. Um, Deb says, hey, I'm a big fan of yours. I wanted to ask if you are okay with filming a tutorial later in a few months or so. Um, a tutorial about what? Yeah. I don't know if you've already done it, but would you ever consider painting all of the doctors from Doctor Who? I've done most of them. And um, there is a video, I think, on TikTok. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't be against it. Is it true that the more you draw, the more you become used to drawing, therefore it makes it easier to draw even more? Um, yes, things do get easier the more you do something. That's just human nature. And... Um, I think that uh, I've I've improved so much since I started drawing every day uh, for TikToks and and YouTubes and whatnot. So I've become a better artist for it. Okay, boy, you guys are asking a lot of questions today, which is really great. Um, but I want to get to all of them. Um, what would you say is the best budget art supplies that still offer value? Um, paper and pencil. Get a sketchbook and a and pencil. That's the best thing you could do to learn to draw. The, the paints, the colors, they come later. If you just need to learn to draw, that's what I would recommend. How do you get over a fear of flying? My family wants to go for summer vacation to Colorado, but I'm terrified of heights. Um, well, the good news is, is that you really don't have to be outside on the wing looking down. I, I'm saying, you know, it's like um, you don't have to look out the window. Take an aisle seat and you're just sitting in a crowded room with a bunch of people. That's really all it is. Um, it's, it's a lot less dangerous than... Uh, driving and um but there there's there's a matter it's a flying is a matter of faith you have to have faith in the pilot you have to have faith in you know the uh in the in the airplane and everything and and some people just don't trust it and i totally get that but at some point you just have to decide i'm gonna go for it Donna's upstairs yelling at the dog for, she walks out the back door and wants to come in the front door. I did not. What is your biggest art pet peeve? Shoot, thank God they didn't ask you what the biggest pet peeve against me was. Boy, the list is long. My biggest art pet peeve. Mm -hmm. um, I, I it, it, like sometimes pet peeves are things that other people do, um, or or can an art pet peeve be something that just happens in art? I'm trying to figure it out. Um, well, for me, it's just when something when you when you know you you know you've drawn something before and it's come out fine, and then you try to do it and then it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's pet peeve or not. But okay. are you recording from an SLR or a cell phone? Cell phone at in 4K, so I could zoom in. Scott has drawn a ton of the Princess Bride characters. Oh, yeah. My favorite movie. Mm -hmm. And we got to work with Wallace Shawn. Inconceivable. Sarah replies back to seeing the mountains of Colorado is breathtaking, so maybe get your mind goal oriented. That's a good way to do it. 
How do you get stories across in art? An excellent question. I found that I'm not a good storyteller when it comes to my art. Um, that that was a job for um, illustrators like a Norman Rockwell was really good at that. In a single image, you would get a whole story. And um, that was always just something that never um, clicked with me. But um, I, I, for me, my storytelling is in the videos. That's, that's where um, I, can, I can open up and kind of tell my stories. What is the most detailed piece of art you've ever made? It would be the Animal Crackers movie poster. Um, these markers you can find on Amazon. Richard's here. He says, good morning. Good morning. Um, Scott has drawn, drawn Indiana Jones numerous times. Yeah. Are there any art supplies you haven't tried yet but would like to? Oh, there's tons of art supplies I haven't tried yet. Um, Favorite all-time band? Uh, I don't know. Is it the Beatles? Is it Def Leppard? Um, I don't know. Um, he has drawn animals. He did 30 days of animals around the world. How do you create your art in such a little time? I'm not very good at time management with my art, probably because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Any advice on how to work faster? Well, for me, what I do is... Um, if I have the luxury of doing this, I will always trace the image so that way I'm not spending time trying to get the proportion right. And if you guys saw at the beginning, there was so little information that I'm still struggling with the proportions. Um, but repetition helps you learn what works and what doesn't. And that's really the thing with, with this is um, I don't have that yet with this art medium. So I'm still kind of learning. But you start to figure out what works and what doesn't. Um, we have not watched Arcane. You watched the first episode. I haven't. Yes, you did. Did I? Yep, with, with Logan. Well, it was that memorable. Thing. Exactly. Um, your Hobbit basement is how I want my house to look when I'm older. Oh. Uh, who's your favorite Doctor Who? Uh, mine is the fourth doctor. He has drawn Arwen so many times. Um, he does not really draw anime. He has done some for some of the people in here. Um, he does not do tattoos. Um, hi, Scott. I finally have a chance to tell you that you inspired me to support my boyfriend more in his drawing path. He is so talented, but never really appreciates himself. Oh, uh, that's that wonderful. So that you're supporting him. That's really important. That's important. Um, okay, don't get in trouble if you're in geometry class watching this. <laughs> I'm not going to take the rap for you. How do you create? Oh, you're so good. That one. Um, Scott has done Stranger Things before. He yeah, there is a video with all of the characters. Who would you say is the most technically gifted artist you can think? Oh, um, I would think Rockwell would be up there. Um, John Buscema, who, you know, did How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. I mean, he could draw just anything out of his head. Um, those are the two that come to my mind. How many video, how many short videos did it take to get a good reach? I have some artist friends who struggle a lot with the algorithm. Oh, um, everybody struggles with the algorithm. I, I would say, uh, I don't know if there's a number, but there was amount of time. And that was for me, it's probably about a year. So this is this part right here is just really not clicking for me. What are your thoughts on AI? and how it can affect the art artists in the future. Um, someone, had, someone had written, um, you know, AI should be uh, doing dishes. It should be cleaning, um, should be doing menial tasks. So that way um, artists have more time to make art. 
not making art, you know, like, like we don't need AI to make art. We need AI to do the things that fill up our time to take us away from art. And, and I, and I love that. Uh, I think that's a fantastic, yeah. Yeah. Scott did one workshop in real life, and that was when we went to Venice. And I don't think you'll be doing that again, will you? Uh, probably I'll never not. Say never. Yeah, but. I mean, it, it was it was a Venice was wonderful, but I don't think I was really very helpful to people because I'm I am very shy and very quiet, and I and I let the person know before we did it. But um, you know, I think you need somebody who's outgoing and and. Uh, who has stories to tell and gather around everybody. I'm going to tell you this wonderful story. And, and I just wanted to sit and draw, you know, and, and, uh, and I don't, I don't know if that was the best thing for people who paid money to come and I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I hope there that they had a good time. There were a couple of people I think who got a lot out of it, who kept asking you questions and that's yeah. the feedback that you wanted. Yeah, like that's I'm great nice. at a answering yeah. questions. That's, and you guys know, because we answer your questions. He's not a stand up in front of a crowd and give a TED talk. Exactly. You know? That's not him. But there were a couple people who asked him questions, and this one person in particular who really seemed to get a lot of the one on one with you. Yeah. Which yeah. was great. Um, and that's really what he, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean to speak for you, but I think that's really what you were more looking for. Um, do you really enjoy making art or if you could go back and do something else, would you? Um, I do like making art. <clears throat> I, uh, uh, someone had asked something similar and, and honestly, if I could make music, I would love to do that because I think music has such a bigger impact. You could just hear a song and it'll bring you to tears or make you want to dance. Um, make you remember something. Yeah. Um, art doesn't do that. And um, or at least my heart doesn't. Um, but but the thing is, is that um, I think that's that's the you know it's like the one thing I'm I'm jealous of. And and I always tell uh, my musician friends, it's like I'm just so jealous that you you wield this power. Shorts make my day that much better. Thank you. Are you open to suggestions right now? Always. The way you layer is amazing. Oh, thank you. I, I'm I'm just what did I say in that video? I'm farting around till until I figure it out. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Um, let's see. One minute summary of your work experience. Oh dear God. My work experience? I don't know if you could. Um, my first job was an internship at Sega of America doing 16-bit video games. Um, then I turned that into a game designer job at Atari. Then we went down to LA and I worked at Malibu Comics doing game designs, but also comic book covers for Star Trek and Mortal Kombat. After that, I went to go work at um, on the Casper sequels doing animation for films then Power Rangers. Um, then I got to do Spider-Man and uh, the comic book. And then I wrote books and then we made a movie based on the books. And now I'm here. How's that? That was good. A little longer a minute, but that was good. You actually timed me. I did. Of course you really did. You're just giving me time. Do I need to be careful with watercolor or should I play with it and see what the final result is? Oh, yeah. Play with it. There's nothing dangerous about any any art material. Um, you know, you can you can work with it and it would be, if you don't like it, you throw it away. It, it, it's not, the stakes aren't high with art, you know, with art. Oh, we loved Uncharted. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. The game? I sit, yeah, I used to sit with Scott while he would play the game. And I'd be like, that guy's going to shoot from me over there. And that guy's going to shoot. Because, you know, it's, it's a one-person game. And I don't like to do that anyway, and it stresses me out. But, um, oh, my God, which goes to my next thing. You guys should have seen us the other night. This guy and his son made me fall into lava. Oh, yeah, we made you fall you into lava. did. Oh, 
my God, I have a problem with video games. I actually think I'm going to die. Um, anyway. Every, every game of World of Warcraft, and Misty can attest to this, is yeah. Donna screaming, oh my God, they're going to kill me. Yes. Why die. are you making me do this? I'm going to die. Uh, do you like Nirvana? Um, yeah, I liked a couple of their songs. Scott's got a video, several videos about drawing faces. Um, eyes, ears, noses, jawlines. Check out the Art Hacks playlist. Um, do you think you can get away with the 80 set of markers for Art Beak, or should they go? Uh, totally, the 80, 80 set is fine. I have the, what, 120 set? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, if you if you like it, you can always upgrade. You know, you can always buy another one. But honestly, I think you'll be fine. Do you think it's important to your painting to have a meaning or a feeling? I think that is every artist's goal, but I think it's really hard to do. Okay, so... Um, Lily check the be creative sketchbooks are not available because and I called the company last week they're they are getting rid of some of the sizes of their books the size that Scott uses the eight and a half by five and a half is going to be available it is just on back order it's yeah it's back ordered and they don't know when it's coming in so um what musical instrument would you like to learn to play um Just for just for uh, bear, I would say the hurdy gurdy, but uh, honestly, um, the guitar. I I took guitar and piano lessons, so it'd be one of those two. Uh, we don't sell prints, but we do sell Scott's original art, and it's on the website right now. Um, I don't typically draw, but is there any good ways to get back into art? Uh, just a pencil and paper, and a journal. Journal would be a great way to do it. What's your least favorite thing to draw? Hands. Um, which Star Trek is your favorite? Next Generation. Though we're really liking, um, is it Strange New Worlds or Brave New Worlds? Brave New Worlds, I think. Yeah. Oh, did you hear? The gal who played the Borg queen on Picard passed away. No. Yep, she was 45 and she had cancer. Oh. Yeah, she passed away. Yeah, I just read that this morning. That's sad. Um, I haven't seen the Rankin Bass Hobbit from the 70s. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a favorite Stranger Things character? Um, the guy with the Trans Am. Um, are you interested in any other arts, music, or poetry? Interested, yeah. Um, good at, no. Who is your favorite artist? I don't have a favorite. I have tons of favorites. I think I'm going to... We usually stream at 9 a.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. 9 a.m. Central Time. Um, we are animal people in general. We love all mm. animals. But um, I'm allergic to cats, so we can only have a dog. Well, we've had a dog, we've had fish, we've had hamsters, we've had multiple animals, but what I'm saying is we can't have cats. Um, if you could swap your art style, what would you change it to? Well, that's an interesting question. Oh, um, it, it would be uh, comic books or cartoons. Like if I could draw out of my head um, and and uh, I would I would be unstoppable. This is Janet Jackson. Painting. It's supposed to be. My apologies if it doesn't look like her. Um, Scott, when you say show me yours at the end of the National Animals videos, how can I do that? Oh, uh, you can post on your social medias and tag me. Um, you can post it on our Discord. Mm -hmm. If you could interview a famous person, who would you choose? I'm not good at interviewing, um, but... Uh, Um, he passed away, but it would be Robin Williams. We need a short on video games with Donna. No, you do not, Jamie. No, you do not. 
All you hear would be screaming. Yeah. And flailing of arms. Um, are you almost done? Are you bored? It's yeah, I am almost done. I'm I'm just kind of noodling just to see what what I like and don't like about it. Um, my art teacher always tells us the only danger when creating art is when you limit yourself. You have a great art teacher, Soup. Yeah. The one where they were we were live in the class with them. You have a great art teacher. One of the few. What's your go-to song if you're sad? Oh. That is a good song, isn't it? Yeah, it is a good song. It Bill Withers, Lovely Day. Yep. Hits me up um, every time. Let's see. Future Love Paradise is the one that I always listen to. I'm not kidding. Um, good morning. And good morning. I'm going to teach my last classes at my current school before I take over art classes at a new school. Oh, Good that's and have a great day. Great. Oh, good luck. Have a great last day. That's so exciting for you. Um, I don't know what that question is. What's something Scott does when he makes art to keep him focused? Oh. Music. Uh, yeah, music, Atomic but. Atomic fireballs. And candy. Music and candy, I guess. Yep. That will at least keep him in one location until he finishes the atomic fire. <laughs> <laughs> keep throwing candy at him. Um, let's see. Hey, just joined. I love your art. Any specific size of sketchbook do you like or do you like all sizes? Oh, thank you. Um, I like like a six by nine kind of size. That's usually my favorite. How should I start journaling my art? Oh, just draw what you see every day. Yep. I'm too poor to afford a sketchbook, so I make sketchbooks. Oh, gosh. You can make a wow. sketchbook? That's fantastic. That's, yeah, you got one on me for sure. I would love to be able to make books. I think we have a Santa in the chat who left us a tin. Oh, thank and you, Santa. Santa. Says, Did someone say candy? <laughs> <laughs> So Santa, you will appreciate this. So I made cookie dough last week. I made Scott's these chocolate chip oatmeal cookies that he likes. So little Mr. Idea had a, this <laughs> exclamation point pop over his head one night and went, maybe we can make cookie balls and freeze them and then I can take them out whenever I want and I can have like two or three Because Okay, just, just for the record, Donna makes a huge thing of cookies and then it's like, it's just me eating them. <laughs> And so it's like, it's supposed to feed 25 people <laughs> over five days. And so she's like, here's, yeah, she's like, here's a dozen chocolate chip cookies. And they're like this big. And I will eat them all because they're hot and gooey. And I'm sick for a week trying to finish off this pot of cookies. So I said, what if we can take like four cookies and freeze them? And then that way, whenever I want to, we could pop out four so they don't go bad. Not wrong. I mean, he, that's a, an incredibly accurate assessment of my baking. It's like, oh, you want Donna doesn't know how to cook for one. <laughs> I don't know how to cook for two either. I always make like all oh, this. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Anyway, oh my god. Sorry, that's really funny. Oh gosh. <sighs> that was good. Thanks for making me laugh, babe. Um, have you ever gotten recognized in public? Uh, only once. Oh, that's so funny. Jamie, Donna, I can teach you how to bake for one. <laughs> oh, Donna, do you have... Santa says, 25 cookies per person? I'm coming over. <laughs> right? I can't say no. I told him, I said, you don't have to eat them all. And he looks at me with this face like... I don't understand what you mean. I don't have to eat them all. They're warm. They're on the tray. Yeah. They're here. They're 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 gonna go bad otherwise. I have to eat them. What do you mean, one? <laughs> oh gosh. 
Mrs. Claus might be upset because I wouldn't feed you salad. I would just make you cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. No, oh, that's too much. Oh, gosh. We need to work on the baking for one, says Steph. Uh, what's the longest time you spent on one piece of art? Uh, it was around uh, 11, 12, 13 weeks. And it was the Animal Crackers movie poster. <clears throat> That's, thanks for that. That was funny. You made me laugh. Oh, my God. That was so funny. Oh, geez, Louise. Uh, whew. Freezing them um, for whenever you want them is the way to go. Right? I see a problem with baking for too many people. I love how much fun everyone is having. Santa doesn't need a salad. Scott, I can help you freeze them safely and easy to use. Tony, what's your, oh, what's my favorite? Squishmallow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I I have a little collection of Christmas Squishmallows. Like I have a snowman and a Santa and a reindeer and a Christmas tree and a penguin. Um, but when I don't have the Christmas Squishmallows hanging around, I have this little bunny with these long ears and it's just so soft. So I have a bunny Squishmallow and um, that's, that's one of my favorites. I just got here. What's going on? Oh, my God. How funny. Well, we're laughing and enjoying it. What type of cookies are they? I love cookies. Oh, there. This Neiman Marcus chocolate chip oatmeal cookie recipe went around years ago. And it's like oatmeal and chocolate chips and more chocolate and brown sugar. Anyways. Yeah. So that was the cookie recipe. Scott, what did you get for Christmas? Oh, I got a Game Boy, and what else? You got a couple sweatshirts. Yeah. You got some socks, which you didn't want. Yeah. Um, which was very disappointing. Um, I got a Game Boy. You got a Game Boy. That's the only thing you really wanted was a Game Boy. He's like, oh, yeah, I got it, I got it. I'm all excited. <sighs> Will you ever run out of things or people to draw? Um, I hope not. What are you doing? Um, it, it's get, it got a little busy. I'm like, wait, you just did all of that hair. I know. I was trying to. It, it, it's just. I'll, I just. It just needs a few lines. It, it's just. It's a little too busy. I love plushies. Scott, not so much. Um. <laughs> Blow dryer. Go, but thank you so much for your art today. Keep following the dopamine. Oh, thank you. Our art teacher also throws candy at us quite literally whenever we get distracted. He opens a jar of sweets and starts throwing. Mm. Oh, that's so funny today. Um, how are you doing today? We're doing good, thank you. You guys are just so funny. Um, Abigail, hi, Mr. Saba. I'm a high school student and I'm studying art. I've been following your channel for some time and I would like to do an interview with you. Would you be willing to do that? Um, yeah, if we could do it via email, that would be fine. Um, Abigail, reach out to me on the website. Blow dryer. style you do sometimes like whenever you're just doodling or not taking a piece serious yeah ballpoint pen i honestly think you prefer that black cherry pencil and the craft the brown paper it that's more work um if i'm if i'm just doodling the ballpoint pen is really fun really yeah that's why, why is the black cherry more work because the black cherry is pencil and black cherry is good for 
half of it, then I will, I'm going to want to add white if I'm working on a colored thing. Interesting. Um, let's see. I have a koala squishmallow. Love some squishmallows. How do you feel about crayons? I like them. I did a couple uh, videos with them. Crayons are the best smelling art supply in the planet. Go ahead. Fight me on it. Go ahead. What is the best watercolor and paper for people who want to start? Um, it, it depends on your budget, honestly. Uh, there is, uh, we have the, the grabby set. Or you can do the um, the Winsor and Newton one. The if you're just starting out, you don't have anything at all. The Gravy set is, has everything in it, and it's only twenty five bucks. Paper, pencil, paintbrush, pen, everything, and you can start with that. I may have over two hundred squishmallows. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of squishmallows. Um, we do have a Discord, Felipe. Oh, I have my earbuds all the way up in the blow dryer. That's why he screams blow dryer. Yeah, sorry. Um, hello from Morocco. How is everyone doing? Oh, I want to visit. We are doing good. Thank I you. All right. I think I'm going to call it done. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Positive? I, I, it's as good as it's going to get. This is supposed to be Janet Jackson for those of you who are asking. Um, I will spray the highlight it. of your previous year. Oh gosh. Um, 2022, what's your highlight? Well, I really liked going to Venice. I think that was that was a big thing. I think getting the million uh, subscribers was thing huge. was huge. huge. Um, yeah, I think those were my highlights. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. We do not play any instruments. Um, I had a bad art block recently. The live streams are so helpful. Oh, that's great. Um, Scott, what's your favorite type of cookie? Favorite type of cookie, uh, either chocolate chip or snickerdoodles. All right, so you guys can see, um, can you guys see them both? Yes. So this one's sprayed, and this one isn't yet. Don't smush it, smudge it. No, it should be okay. That's the theory. It looks a little wet by your thumb. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. These are kind of fun. I know, I know I've had a lot of requests for Freddie Mercury and Elvis. So those are high on the list. What was the one thing you wish you knew before you started your art career? Um, hmm. I wish I would have taken up painting rather than colored pencils. <clears throat> have you tried abstract art? Uh, no, I don't really understand abstract art. If you had to choose one art supply for the rest of your life, people love to ask you that. The watercolors and inks. I really like that. Do we have a fast food restaurant? A favorite fast food restaurant? I don't think so. We don't really eat fast food anymore because, well, because we're over 50. It yeah. Doesn't work, it doesn't work very well with our stomachs. Yeah. I mean, we don't live near an in and out Mm -mm. Maybe. <gasps> so good. Or Togo's. Oh, Togo's are so good. It's not really, I don't consider that fast food. That's a sandwich. It's not fast food to me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Scott, have you tried a calligraphy glass pen? Um, I, I know, I think Donna, Donna has them. I think you let me try it. I didn't like it. I like, I, I like. I love them for swatching ink. Yeah, I like. I like my, my pens to be squishy, you know, to have a brush feel to it. Yeah, it, that's a solid feel. Yeah, pen. You, yeah. You, yeah. Do you have any more trips planned? 
We do, we do. But uh, right now they're just short trips, like, you know, like a day trip or something to somewhere in, in the United States. Um, but uh, I, I really wanted to take Donna to Scotland for our anniversary, for our 30th. But, uh, you know, our anniversary was in January and Scotland in January just wasn't really something that we were going to do. So we're still looking at it. Um, what do you look forward to every day? Being with all of you. You should make an entire wall of these records. Do I, you like stone paper or the normal paper? I like normal paper. The stone paper is really cool, but not for me to work with every day. The same way I, I really like... Um, this uh the ohuhu marker paper mm -hmm. i think is really cool but i you know not going to draw on it every day my my favorite is really the uh the be creative i love the texture i love the the saturation of it um it's just really my favorite so this is the one i i'm, I'm going to keep using as long as i keep making it oh by the way so for wednesday so a lot of you had asked, they said, um, since I did this one about using warm colors, they asked me to do cool colors. So on Wednesday, I'm going to do a portrait in cool colors. And guess who I'm going to do? It's not Ice Cube. It's not Vanilla Ice. It's not Ice Tea. It's LL Cool J. So we're going to do LL Cool J in cool colors. Or at least we're going to try. And uh, I will put in the disclaimer that that is subject to change if Scott gets a wild hair and decides to do something different. Yes. But so far, that's what I'm going to do. Have you tried decorating your table surfaces with art? No! no. Don't give him any ideas! Oh, my God. I don't understand the difference between paper. Stone paper, hot press, cold press. They're different um, feels, different... Uh, way that they react to different things. Uh, so if you have like watercolor needs to have paper that can soak into the water has to soak into it. Um, hot press paper has um, less of a tooth to it. It's smoother and cold press has more texture to it. Uh, the stone paper is, you know, it's like drawing on a desktop. The water would just sit on top of it, which is why it's waterproof. Literally, just sits yeah. on top and floats. Yeah. Have you done MC Hammer? I have not. Pan or tube for watercolors? I like a uh, tube. Tube is just um, economically better. What is your favorite donut flavor? Hello from Madagascar. Uh, definitely cinnamon. Chocolate. Chocolate donuts. Chocolate donuts with chocolate frosting and chocolate sprinkles. Basically chocolate, like anything chocolate. Will it still be in watercolor or is that not every Wednesday? Oh, you're right. Watercolor Wednesday. All right, well then maybe I'll do uh, LL Cool J tomorrow. Um, and then we'll come up with something for watercolor Wednesday. <clears throat> stone paper is not less sustainable than pulp paper. So stone paper is actually more sustainable. Um, it is made as a byproduct of a lot of other things. And when they get this, the same thing with anything recyclable, when they can close the loop completely on recycling that, stone paper will definitely be the way to go. Simply for the fact that it is 100% recyclable. Every part of it, the binder, the paper, the everything, 100% recyclable paper. Um, so are you noodling? Do you want to be done? Oh yeah, I'm done. I've been just waiting for you to, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, we're going on a loop on some of the other things. And thanks for being here, everybody. And we will see you on Wednesday for the pen down. The pen down. I can't go and take the pen down. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. We will see you on Wednesday. Have a marvelous Monday, everybody. Thanks for being here with thanks us. Thanks for hanging out with us.